welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video you will learn how to create, edit and connect users, user groups and rights. After that you will assign a right to control element for the visualization. As a first step you will create a new user defined right. Navigate to user and groups rights in the project tree. Right click on user defined rights and select add right. Enter control engine as name. Confirm your input with OK. Right click on users and select add user. Enter the username service user and confirm with OK. Open the user settings by double clicking the new entry. You have the possibility to enter more detailed information like the full name or an additional description. You can set the user's default language that will be used automatically after he logs in. Select EN, which is English, for this user's default language. Now the user needs a password for a secure login. To set it, click Set Password and enter the same password twice. Confirm the new password with OK. All user settings are done. Save them with a click on OK. Right-click on Groups and select Add Group. Give the group the name Service Team and confirm with OK. Now open the settings with a double click on the new group. The description is optional, but it's a good idea to enter a short description for colleagues working on the same project. For this example, please leave the text field empty. Select a created user from the list in order to add it to the group. Now select User, Control Engine in the bottom rights area to add the right to the group. Confirm the settings with OK. Navigate to Server, My Server and right-click on Objects. Select Add Node, Data Variable, in 32. Name it Engine 1 and confirm with OK. Expand the folder Displays and open the Display Main with a double click. Now drag and drop the Object Displays Rocker Switch and Gorge from the library into the display area. Open the parameters of the selected gorge. Click into the base parameters value field and open the object selector dialog with a click on the button with the three dots on it. Select the node Engine 1 and confirm with OK. Enter Engine 1 as description. Confirm this input by pressing the Enter key. Now select the rocker switch and choose the same node for its base parameter. Expand the parameters group security and the value field for the parameter Necessary Right. Open the Address Selector dialog with a click on the button with the three dots on it. Expand the folder User Defined Rights and select the previous created right control engine. Confirm your selection with OK and once again by pressing the Enter key. Save the display and open the visualization for this project from the Advice Builder menu. Navigate to Guided Actions Open Web Browser for Server, My Server, HTTP 1. Zoom both elements with the Zoom to Rectangle tool. As you see, the rocker switch is locked, because you do not have the necessary rights to interact with this element. Click on the button with the keyhole symbol to log in. Enter the username service user and the corresponding password and click OK. You can control the input element now. Good job! You have created a user-defined right and assigned it to a new created group. In addition, you now know how to assign necessary rights to object displays and how to log in with a new user in the visualization.